Yeah, just changes for macro big results. I just got back from some masterminds last week uh, in uh, Nashville, and I picked up on just a couple of things. You know, you always hear a couple of new ways to say things. Um, unless you're hanging out with Glenn, that's all you hear is new ways to hear things. Uh, I love your perspective on life, Glenn. <laughs> it's so fun. Um, but one of the things that in the masterminds, one of the great questions that they asked was, what are you continuously choosing not to execute on? That's how they started the conversation. So, you know, what do you expect to get out of this? And what are you continuously choosing not to execute on? And along with that, a couple of comments that came while you're thinking about that. I thought it was kind of funny as a coach. We we get to hear funny things every once in a while. And it, one of the things they said is 99% of people have not mastered anything. <laughs> I thought that was pretty awesome. And then that makes me think of, you know, Gerber just talking to me all the time in my head through the book and through my daily activities is that really, truly, we tend to make everything more complicated than it is. And then the coach statement I heard to go along with that was, and we justify our actions. So we justify why we are making this more complicated or, oh, that's just too difficult or that's this and that's that. So I guess I would leave you with a couple of um, um, books that helped me get through these items and build these, you know, the basically the the day-to-day -day activities, everything you mentioned, Elise, I mean, just going through the process. The couple of the big books for me were Slight Edge by Jeff Olson. And man, that is talking about doing the mundane and doing it to where it's a habit and it's a ritual. And that does move you towards those macro big results when you do the little steps in between. You know, that actually just made me think. So in that book, he talks about, you know, who's going to come to a conference where the title is Come watch the hardest 90 days or two years of my entire life of grinding out the, the little things I did every day to be successful. And a lot of times when we go to conferences, it's like rags to riches. And you go back with these great ideas and you go to implement them and you don't get the same results. But they left out that overnight success, you know, Dave Ramsey's overnight success, the financial guy, 20 years just pounding, asking radio stations to play his show, to, to get exposure, to do all this stuff. And finally, he's on one station somewhere where Oprah hears him, has him on her show, and now he, he sells millions and millions of books. So he calls it the overnight 20-year success. So it's about that 20 years in between about creating the right habits. Another great one for getting organized so that you can create these habits. And like Yalise was talking about setting up systems is getting things done by David Allen. Michelle and I talk about that one a lot and literally have read that book cover to cover. And he has some genius systems in there. So here's what I'll leave you with. Create systems. <clears throat> for that, those mundane things so that you can drive predictable, consistent results to build that business or whatever you're working on, right? And build those systems around the daily disciplines so that they happen every single day. So that's what I'll leave you with today. Love, love, love.